Hey Tubes, how are you? Here in the garage again on a cold Thursday night. Got the pot belly going again. This video will be a Harath lathe, or I'm sorry, a Jorth lathe part uh, part three. Got her running, like I told you guys, I promised. Got a uh, half horse electric motor there. Had to fabricate another belt. The, uh, the other one was way too long for, for this temporary situation. This is all just temporary. I, uh, I'm not going to keep it like this. I actually might put a line shaft up there. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, though. It, uh, it, it'll be a project. Anyway, got this thing uh, back together. As you can tell, I've been cutting with it, trying to adjust all sorts of stuff so it cuts straight on the Z and cuts straight when you're facing on the X. Uh, took the tailstock apart, shined up all the handles with a wire wheel on the uh, drill press over there. Great use for uh, old drill press. Old crappy drill press. Uh, took the chuck completely apart. Literally washed it in the sink. Um, it really didn't take the spindle apart. The bearing seemed alright. Maybe a little dirty, but it'll be alright for what I'm doing with it. Got cork in here so no uh, no dirt gets in there. Oiled it up with uh, some 3-in-1 oil. I uh, cleaned up the paint. I uh, found some red uh, a red paint marker and I highlighted the letters in red. I thought that looks pretty cool. But yeah, I've been cutting with it. Made a big mess. Uh, yeah, like I said, this, this this is temporary. This is definitely temporary. Not gonna keep it like that. Anyway, thing gets a good finish. A real, real good finish, actually. Very good finish if you feed nice and slow. I don't know how fast the spindle's going, but decently fast. Uh, got a decent high-speed steel cutter there with a chip breaker and all that good stuff. Yeah, I know you guys are wondering what the heck this is all about. Probably, uh, obviously not the right taper. This is a Morris. Ah, oh, jeez, I forget what Mor Morris uh, taper that is. But this is a different taper. This is a some funky taper. But anyway, I'll find. That works for now, actually. I'll find a tool that's supposed to be in there, or uh, take this out and uh, machine it to a Morris taper. But that—that's a lot of work, and it's probably hardened too. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's see how this thing cuts, shall we? All right. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's plug it in, take a couple cuts, and uh, See if we can't make it cut any better on the z-axis. Cut a cut a straight diameter instead of a taper. Let's uh, let's plug her in here. It's a torquey little electric motor, that's for sure. Got it supported with a live center, which is probably a good thing because. Uh, that, uh, those those jaws in that chuck aren't very aren't very big. Anyway, let's uh, set you up on a tripod and take a couple passes real quick, and uh, see if we can't get it cutting better. All right, let's take a a couple thousandths. We're gonna we're gonna see which way we gotta adjust the the carriage here. Touch off on your X. There you go. You guys probably heard that. Back off on your Z. Go in a little bit. There's a little bit of chatter. Uh, feet on your Z here. You guys probably can't see the pass that I'm taking. I I can't even see it hardly. I'm probably taking a thousandths. I really didn't look at the collar to see how much I'm taking. I'm just kind of guesstimating. But you can hear that uh, that hissing. It sounds like a leaky air hose. Uh, that that's the sound you want. It sounds pretty good actually. But these aren't these aren't the chips you want. You want like little seeds almost. You don't you don't want the stringy chips. They're kind of dangerous. They'll wrap her up wrap up in the uh, in the part or in the chuck and 
pretty much just make a mess. As long as you're wearing safety glasses, you're all right. Yeah, just like that. At least it's aluminum. Really won't hurt you going around. It almost looks like we're going to cut a taper again, but we'll measure it and see what it is. I got my calipers handy, so we can make it. Yeah, it's a little excessive. Every once in a while, the belt belt goes on a part of the pulley that it doesn't like, and it jerks back to where it uh, usually rides, and it makes all sorts of noises. Plus, I got it uh, just botched together, so... We're going a little fast. We're kind of rushing. I could I could be getting a better service finish, but uh, I kind of just want to get this done. Sorry about the light. I'm I'm gonna say that every every video. I don't have the best lighting in the garage. I'll have to get another source of light. All right, we're reaching the shoulder. Back off on your X and your Z. All right, let's uh, let's measure that. Minotoyo calipers. All right, two point one one two two point. Uh, we're probably five thousandths off over this uh, short distance. That that's. That's uh, not too good, especially since it's over this distance, a short distance. Over the whole part, it'd be more like probably a good 30 thousandths off from end to end. Ah, geez, now that I'm saying that, that's not too good, but uh, we'll get it. That's, uh, that's good enough for this video anyway. Hey, yeah, guys, if you, um, if you like our videos... Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, definitely comment. It might be a little early. Uh, we're just starting out. Thought it would be something fun to do. Uh, we, we'll make more videos of engines, hit misses, that's what we're about. Uh, generators, fixing things, uh, building things. Uh, just pretty much what I love to do. Um, we'll put some more videos up. Uh, but, uh, but, but enjoy them, guys, so far. Uh, we have uh, room to improve. Tell us what we need to do, and uh, we'll do it. So, uh, thanks, guys.